In entertainment, controversy often follows celebrities, but when past comments resurface in light of serious allegations, they take on a new level of significance. Sean, Diddy, Combs, synonymous with hip hop and the glamorous world of entertainment, is at the center of a media storm. Recent old comments he made about his so called kinky parties have resurfaced, casting a shadow over his public image, especially as he faces a serious sex trafficking case. This documentary delves deep into the controversy surrounding Diddy's resurfaced comments, the ongoing legal battles, and the broader implications for his career and legacy. Diddy's rise to fame before diving into the controversy It's essential to understand the man at the center of it all Sean Combs better known as Diddy, Puffy, or P. Diddy has been a significant force in the music industry since the early 1990s. Starting as an ambitious intern at Uptown Records, Diddy quickly made a name for himself as a producer and talent scout. By founding Bad Boy Records in 1993 he helped launch the careers of some of hip-hop's biggest stars including the notorious B.I.G. Mays and Faith Evans. Diddy's influence extended beyond music, he became a cultural icon, branching out into fashion with his Sean John clothing line, acting, and even reality television. His parties became legendary, often attended by the biggest names in music, film, and fashion. However, with fame and power came scrutiny, and over the years, Diddy has faced his fair share of controversies. The resurfacing of Diddy's comments, in a world where the internet never forgets, past remarks can come back to haunt even the most influential figures. Recently, comments Diddy made in the past about the nature of his infamous parties have resurfaced, sending shockwaves through the entertainment industry. In a candid interview, Diddy once described the kinky nature of some of his parties, mentioning that he would lock the doors to ensure a certain level of exclusivity and privacy for his guests. While these remarks may have seemed like harmless bragging about his wild lifestyle at the time, they have taken on a far more sinister tone in the context of the current allegations against him. These resurfaced comments have reignited discussions about the darker side of the entertainment industry, where power dynamics, exploitation, and secrecy often go hand in hand. Critics have pointed out that Diddy's description of locking doors at his parties could be seen as a metaphor for the control and manipulation that can occur in such settings, where those in power can exploit their positions over others. The sex trafficking allegations, the resurfacing of Diddy's comments comes at a time when he is already under intense scrutiny due to a sex trafficking case that has captured the attention of the public and media alike. The case alleges that Diddy was involved in orchestrating and facilitating sex trafficking activities, using his influence and resources to exploit vulnerable individuals. While the specifics of the case are still unfolding, the accusations are serious and could have significant legal and personal consequences for Diddy. The case has also sparked broader conversations about the pervasive issue of sex trafficking within the entertainment industry. As more victims come forward with their stories, the culture of silence and complicity that has allowed such exploitation to thrive is being challenged. Once seen as a symbol of success and entrepreneurship, now finds himself at the center of a much darker narrative. Public reaction and media frenzy, as news of the resurfaced comments and the sex trafficking case broke, the public and media response was swift and intense. Social media platforms were flooded with discussions, with some expressing shock and disappointment, while others defended Diddy, arguing that the comments were taken out of context. The media, always eager for a scandal, seized on the story, with numerous outlets publishing in-depth analyses and opinion pieces on the implications of Diddy's remarks and the ongoing case. The controversy has also led to a re-examination of Diddy's past behavior and public persona. While he has long been celebrated for his contributions to music and culture, these recent developments have cast a shadow over his legacy. Some have called for a boycott of his music and business ventures, while others have urged for a more measured response, emphasizing the importance of due process and not rushing to judgment. The legal battle ahead, as Diddy prepares to face the legal challenges ahead. The outcome of the sex trafficking case will likely have far-reaching consequences for both him and the broader entertainment industry. If found guilty, Diddy could face significant prison time, financial penalties, and irreparable damage to his reputation. Even if he is acquitted, the allegations and the resurfaced comments will likely continue to haunt him, 
serving as a reminder of the complexities and dangers of fame. The legal battle will also be closely watched by those in the entertainment industry, as it may set a precedent for how similar cases are handled in the future. With the hashtag MeToo movement still resonating in the public consciousness, there is a growing demand for accountability and transparency in cases involving sexual misconduct and exploitation. Diddy's response and the path forward, in the wake of the controversy, Diddy has remained relatively silent, only issuing a brief statement through his legal team denying the allegations and expressing confidence that he will be exonerated. However, as the pressure mounts, it remains to be seen how Diddy will navigate the challenges ahead. Will he choose to fight the allegations head on? Or will he seek to settle the case out of court in an attempt to protect his public image? Regardless of the outcome, Diddy's once untouchable status in the entertainment industry has been irreversibly altered. The resurfacing of his comments and the ongoing legal battle have forced both the public and the industry to reckon with the darker aspects of celebrity culture, where power and privilege can often mask more sinister realities. The controversy surrounding Diddy's resurfaced comments and the sex trafficking case serves as a stark reminder of the complexities of fame and the importance of accountability. As we await the outcome of the legal proceedings, one thing is clear. The days of turning a blind eye to the darker side of the entertainment industry are over. Diddy, once a symbol of success and excess, now finds himself at a crossroads, where the decisions he makes in the coming months will not only shape his future but also have a lasting impact on the industry as a whole. Thank you for joining us in this deep dive into the controversy surrounding Diddy. Be sure to like subscribe and hit the notification bell for more in-depth analyses and updates on this developing story. Tom Cruise is one of the biggest movie stars in the world, and his lifestyle reflects the wealth and success he has accumulated over the course of his decades-long career. With a net worth estimated to be around $600 million, Cruise has been able to afford an extravagant and luxurious lifestyle. Let's take a closer look at his assets, including his homes, cars, private jets, and his overall approach to luxury living. Real Estate Portfolio Tom Cruise is known for owning multiple extravagant properties across the world. One of his most famous estates was his $39.5 million mansion in Telluride, Colorado. This 10,000-square-foot estate is surrounded by picturesque mountains and sprawling forests, offering total privacy and luxury. The mansion includes a helipad, a private trail, and seven bedrooms, perfect for a movie star of Cruise's stature. He also once owned a stunning Beverly Hills mansion, which he sold for $40 million, solidifying his taste for prime real estate. In addition to these properties, Cruz has also owned homes in Florida and the UK. His Clearwater, Florida penthouse is a symbol of opulence and privacy. Clearwater is known to be a hub for the Church of Scientology, and his residence is designed to offer him all the comfort and security he needs. Cars and Private Jets Tom Cruise's car collection is the epitome of a Hollywood star's dream. His garage features some of the most luxurious and rare vehicles in the world. He owns a Bugatti Veyron, which costs upwards of $1.7 million. Cruise has been spotted in this high-speed car numerous times, making headlines with his love for fast and sleek automobiles. He also owns a Porsche 911, a BMW 7 Series, and a Chevrolet Corvette, adding to his impressive collection. In addition to his love for cars, Cruz is also a certified pilot and owns several private jets. His Gulfstream 4, which costs around $20 million, is one of his most prized possessions. The jet offers him the freedom to travel anywhere in the world at a moment's notice, with ultimate comfort and style. Cruz also owns a P-51 Mustang, a vintage World War II fighter plane, demonstrating his passion for flying and his love for high-adrenaline hobbies. Hobbies and extravagant spending. Tom Cruise's lifestyle goes beyond luxurious homes and expensive cars. He's known for his adventurous hobbies, including skydiving, rock climbing, and helicopter piloting. His dedication to performing his stunts in movies, particularly in the Mission Impossible franchise, speaks to his fearless personality. His ability to take on extreme physical challenges has only added to his legendary status in Hollywood. When it comes to travel, a cruise offers no expense. He's often seen vacationing on mega yachts, 
staying in the world's most exclusive hotels, and enjoying high-end experiences. His love for privacy means he frequently books entire resorts or private islands for vacations with his close friends and family. Fashion and public appearances. Known for his impeccable style, Cruz is frequently spotted in designer suits, particularly from brands like Armani and Tom Ford. Whether he's on a red carpet, attending a premiere, or making a rare public appearance, Cruz's fashion sense always reflects his status as one of Hollywood's top A-list stars. His signature look, a mix of casual sophistication and timeless elegance, ensures that he remains a style icon even after decades in the industry. Net worth and philanthropy. With an estimated net worth of $600 million, Cruz has reached the pinnacle of financial success in Hollywood. His earnings come from his iconic roles in blockbuster films like Top Gun, Mission, Impossible, and Jerry Maguire, among others. However, Cruz is not just known for his wealth, he's also involved in numerous charitable activities. Although he's private about his philanthropy, he has supported causes related to health, children's education, and disaster relief efforts over the years. Tom Cruise's life is one of incredible luxury, excitement, and adventure. From his breathtaking homes to his love for cars, jets, and adrenaline pumping activities, his lifestyle truly represents the heights of celebrity opulence. reading the Joe Whedon books and the Arnold Schwarzenegger stuff because it's easy to just coast and not push yourself sometimes but when you've got somebody like him on your case. Right second set we've had a little bit of weight on so let's see what we can do. One, good. Just keep that control. Scott Adkins, widely recognized for his intense martial arts skills and impressive action roles in films like Undisputed, the Expendables, and Boyka, has quietly built a lifestyle that reflects both his love for fitness and a taste for the finer things in life. Though not often in the limelight like some Hollywood superstars, Adkins has made a significant impact in the action movie industry. His success has allowed him to live a lifestyle filled with luxurious homes, high-end cars, and exciting hobbies, all while maintaining a down-to-earth persona. Let's explore the secret life of Scott Adkins, from his real estate choices to his fitness regime, and the luxury that comes with his action-packed career. Real Estate Adkins' lavish and private homes Unlike many celebrities who flaunt their wealth through lavish mansions in Hollywood, Scott Adkins keeps a relatively low profile. However, this doesn't mean he skimps on luxury when it comes to his living arrangements. He reportedly owns a beautiful home in England, where he's originally from. His house is a perfect blend of modern style and comfort, featuring a state-of-the-art home gym, equipment and expansive outdoor spaces, ideal for someone who prioritizes fitness. Though private about his real estate holdings, Atkins property includes all the amenities an action star would need, from spacious rooms to entertainment areas where he can relax with his family. It's not a sprawling estate like those of some of his A-list counterparts, but it's clear that Atkins values comfort and privacy over flamboyance. Cars and motorcycles. A taste for speed and power. Scott Adkins' passion for high-performance vehicles is no secret. He's been seen driving sleek and powerful cars, which fit his action star image. Though he's not known for flaunting his wealth, it's clear that Adkins appreciates vehicles that blend speed, power, and style. His garage reportedly includes a range of luxury sports cars, including a Porsche 911, known for its speed and performance. Adkins has also been spotted riding high-end motorcycles, which align with his persona as a thrill-seeker. His collection reflects his love for adventure, precision, and fine engineering. Whether on the road or set, Adkins prefers power-driven machines, fitness and martial arts, a lifestyle of discipline. Scott Adkins is one of the most disciplined and dedicated actors when it comes to physical fitness, which is a major part of his celebrity lifestyle. Martial arts have been central to his career and personal life since he was young. He has black belts in several martial arts disciplines, including Taekwondo and Judo, and is trained in a variety of others, such as karate, kickboxing, and capoeira. His fitness routine is rigorous and demands the highest levels of discipline, incorporating weight training, agility drills, and martial arts sparring sessions. Adkins' daily workout regimen is not just about maintaining his physique for his action roles but is also a reflection of his lifestyle choice to stay in peak condition. His gym, 
outfitted with the latest equipment, mirrors the one he uses in his action scenes, and it's clear that he views fitness as not just a job requirement but a lifelong passion. Wardrobe. Style with a functional edge. While Scott Adkins isn't often seen on the red carpet, when he does step out, his fashion choices are stylish yet functional. His wardrobe reflects his down-to-earth nature, often sporting casual yet sleek outfits that emphasize comfort and practicality. On special occasions, Adkins opts for sharply tailored suits, exuding the sophistication of a martial arts star who seamlessly transitions from the screen to real life. While he doesn't boast an extravagant collection of designer brands like some of his celebrity peers, Adkins' style is understated and cool, much like his persona. When he's not filming, he's frequently seen in athletic wear, usually training gear suited for his active lifestyle, designed to allow flexibility and movement, a nod to his martial arts roots. Luxury without the flash. How Scott Adkins spends his wealth. Despite his success in Hollywood, Scott Adkins maintains a low-key approach to his luxury lifestyle. Instead of splurging on over-the-top yachts or designer brands, Adkins invests in things that bring value to his career and personal happiness. His love for travel and adventure means that he enjoys exclusive trips to exotic destinations, often tying in these vacations with martial arts events or film premieres around the world. While some stars spend their wealth on material possessions, Adkins focuses on experiences. This includes traveling to different countries for martial arts training and immersing himself in the culture of the sport. His dedication to his craft is not just evident on screen, it's a significant part of how he spends his time and wealth off screen as well. Net worth and earnings, an action star's growing fortune. Scott Adkins may not yet have the multi billion dollar net worth of Hollywood's biggest stars, but his career has earned him an impressive fortune. With an estimated net worth of over $5 million, his wealth has steadily grown thanks to his roles in major action films, along with endorsements, personal appearances, and other ventures tied to his martial arts expertise. Adkins is a smart and savvy businessperson, frequently investing in projects that align with his passion for martial arts and action cinema. He continues to land roles in both Hollywood blockbusters and independent action films, further expanding his brand globally. Philanthropy and giving back, a heart for martial arts communities. Though he keeps much of his personal life out of the public eye, Adkins is known to support charitable causes, particularly those related to martial arts and youth development. He is involved in initiatives aimed at promoting martial arts as a way to empower young people, encouraging discipline and personal growth through sports. His philanthropic efforts reflect his desire to give back to the martial arts community, where he first found his passion and purpose. The Balanced Life of a Hollywood Action Star Scott Adkins' life is a blend of luxury, discipline, and personal fulfillment. He lives the life of a modern action star, filled with fast cars, stylish homes, exotic travel, and a laser focus on fitness, but without the overwhelming extravagance often associated with celebrity culture. Adkins' success story is one of hard work, persistence, and staying true to his roots, both as a martial artist and as a down-to-earth individual who values quality over quantity. In a world where many celebrities flaunt their wealth, in a world where many celebrities flaunt their wealth, Scott Adkins quietly enjoys the fruits of his labor while maintaining a lifestyle that reflects his love for adventure, fitness, and action-packed living. Steve Harvey, a name synonymous with laughter, wisdom, and entertainment, has journeyed from humble beginnings to become one of the most influential figures in the entertainment world. But behind the cameras and onstage charisma, there lies a fascinating story of a man who has built an empire and a beautiful life filled with luxury, love, and family values. Today, we're taking a closer look at Steve Harvey's extraordinary lifestyle, from his magnificent mansion and remarkable marriage to his seven children, staggering net worth, and enviable car collection. The Mansion. A true palace fit for a king of comedy, Steve Harvey's residence is more than just a home. It's a statement of his success and an embodiment of his journey from modest beginnings. 
Situated in the upscale Buckhead neighborhood of Atlanta, Georgia, this mega mansion spans 17 acres and was once owned by media mogul Tyler Perry. The mansion is approximately 35,000 square feet and boasts exquisite architectural details, expansive grounds, and unparalleled luxury. The estate features a grand entrance with tall iron gates, which open up to a long driveway lined with lush greenery. Inside, the home is nothing short of opulence. It includes multiple living rooms, a grand ballroom, an indoor swimming pool, a spa, and a state-of-the-art gym. There are also several formal dining rooms, a gourmet kitchen with top-of-the-line appliances, a wine cellar, and a movie theater. The exterior is equally impressive with manicured gardens, a massive outdoor pool, a tennis court, and even a private lake. Steve Harvey's mansion truly reflects his larger-than-life persona and his appreciation for both comfort and style. The Love Story Steve and Marjorie Harvey's Enduring Romance Steve Harvey's love story with his wife, Marjorie Harvey, is as captivating as any of his comedy routines. The couple first met in the late 1980s at a comedy club in Memphis, where Steve was performing. According to Steve, it was love at first sight. However, it wasn't until 2005, after both experienced divorces, that they reconnected and began their romantic journey. They married in 2007 and have been inseparable ever since. Marjorie a fashion icon and philanthropist has been credited with turning Steve's life around she is not just a supportive wife but a partner in every sense of the word. The couple frequently shares their love story on social media and has become known for their unshakable bond, built on mutual respect, love, and understanding. Together, they've also launched, the Steve and Marjorie Harvey Foundation, which focuses on youth education, mentoring, and providing life skills to young people across the globe. Family Life Raising seven children with love and discipline. Steve Harvey is a proud father of seven children, four biological and three stepchildren, all of whom he shares with Marjorie. His biological children, Brandy, Carly, Broderick Jr., and Winton, have been involved in various ventures, including entrepreneurship, fashion, fitness, and media. Meanwhile Marjorie's three children Lori Morgan and Jason whom Steve adopted after their marriage have also carved out their own successful paths in the spotlight Steve has often talked about his parenting style emphasizing discipline respect and the importance of hard work despite being a busy entertainer he ensures that his family always comes first his children are a reflection of his teachings they're driven successful and committed to their own endeavors. Steve and Marjorie have been open about their blended family dynamic, which they handle with grace and love creating a home environment that is nurturing and supportive. Steve Harvey's Empire, from comedy clubs to a $200 million net worth. Steve Harvey's rise to fame began with stand-up comedy, but his career has expanded far beyond the stage. Today, Steve is a media mogul with a net worth estimated at around $200 million. His wealth comes from various sources, including hosting the wildly popular Family Feud, the syndicated Steve Harvey Morning Show, and his eponymous daytime talk show. He is also a best-selling author of books such as, Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man, which was adapted into a major motion picture. In addition to his media ventures, Steve owns, Steve Harvey Global, a company that produces content across television, film, digital, and live events. The company has also made significant investments in African ventures, including the highly popular, Family Feud Africa. Steve has diversified his investments further into real estate, technology, and fashion, continually expanding his brand and influence globally. The Ultimate Car Collection, a reflection of style and success, Steve Harvey's love for luxury is not confined to his home, it extends to his car collection as well. Known for his impeccable taste, Steve owns a fleet of some of the most high-end vehicles in the world. His collection includes a Rolls-Royce Phantom Drophead Coupe, a Bentley Mulsanne, a Ferrari 488 GTB, and a Cadillac Escalade, among others. Each car reflects a different facet of Steve's personality, from the elegance and sophistication of the Rolls-Royce to the power and performance of the Ferrari. Steve's cars are not just for show, they represent his journey and achievements. He often talks about how he once slept in his car when he was homeless, and now he rides in some of the most luxurious vehicles available. This car collection stands as a testament to his resilience, hard work, and unyielding drive to succeed. Steve Harvey's Legacy A Life of Laughter, Love, and Leadership Steve Harvey is more than just a comedian or a TV host, he is a man who has built an empire through sheer determination and talent. 
His life, filled with joy, struggles, triumphs, and lessons, is an inspiration to many. From his luxurious mansion and incredible car collection to his loving marriage with Marjorie and his role as a devoted father, Steve Harvey continues to prove that you can achieve greatness while staying grounded in family values and personal growth. His journey reminds us all that success is not just measured by wealth, but by the lives we touch and the legacy we leave behind. With a dynamic career that shows no signs of slowing down, Steve Harvey remains a formidable force in the world of entertainment, a devoted family man, and a true testament to the power of perseverance and passion. You on Faith Street, but you done stepped off of Faith Street. You over here on I Don't See How Circle. He don't ship that. Instead of staying on Faith Street, you done stepped over here to I Don't Believe It Boulevard or It Took Too Long Avenue. Then the package come to Faith Street is just like the post office in FedEx. If you ain't there to receive it, it got to go back. Welcome to an in-depth look into the fascinating and luxurious life of Malia Obama, the eldest daughter of former President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama. Born into the spotlight, Malia has gracefully navigated her way through fame and responsibility, carving out her own path while maintaining a relatively private life. Today, we're going to take you behind the scenes to explore her lifestyle, education, career choices, and the luxurious aspects of her life that many are curious about. Early life and education Malia Ann Obama was born on July 4, 1998, in Chicago, Illinois into one of the most powerful and influential families in the world. Growing up in the White House from the age of 10, Malia's childhood was anything but ordinary. However, her parents ensured that she and her sister, Sasha, had as normal an upbringing as possible despite the public eye constantly watching. Malia attended the prestigious Sidwell Friends School in Washington, D.C., and later, she pursued higher education at Harvard University one of the most renowned institutions in the world. Career choices and professional life After graduating from Harvard in 2021, Malia Obama didn't rush into the public eye but instead chose to pursue her passions quietly. She has interned at several high-profile companies, including the Weinstein Company, and has shown a keen interest in the film and television industry. Malia's career seems to be taking a creative turn, with reports indicating she's working on a project with Donald Glover for Amazon. Despite the immense pressure that comes with her last name, Malia has taken a path that allows her to express her creativity and intellect, all while keeping a low profile. Luxurious lifestyle. Being the daughter of one of the world's most influential couples comes with certain perks, and Malia Obama's lifestyle reflects that. From vacations in exotic locations to attending high-profile events, Malia has experienced a level of luxury that few can imagine. The Obama family is known for their love of travel, and Malia has visited some of the world's most beautiful destinations. Whether it's a family vacation in Martha's Vineyard or a solo trip to Europe, Malia travels in style, often spotted in designer outfits and staying in luxurious accommodations. Real estate and homes. Though Malia is still young, her family's real estate portfolio is impressive. The Obamas own a stunning home in the upscale Calorama neighborhood of Washington, D.C., worth an estimated $8.1 million. They also have a vacation home in Martha's Vineyard, a massive 29-acre estate that cost around $11.75 million. While these properties are technically owned by her parents, Malia has spent considerable time in these luxurious homes, enjoying the privacy and exclusivity they offer. Luxury cars and transportation, Malia Obama's lifestyle also includes access to a fleet of luxury vehicles. While she keeps a relatively low profile and isn't often seen driving, it's known that the Obama family has a taste for high-end cars. Whether being chauffeured in a sleek black SUV or traveling in a private jet, Malia's transportation options are nothing short of first-class, fashion and personal style, Malia has developed her own sense of style over the years, often seen in chic, understated outfits that reflect her personality. She has been spotted in designer clothes from brands like Rag & Bone, Alexander Wang, and Miu Miu, showing that she has a keen eye for fashion. Her style is a blend of casual elegance and modern trends, 
making her a fashion icon for many young women. Social life and public appearances, despite her busy schedule, Malia Obama has a vibrant social life. She has been seen at music festivals, art exhibitions, and other cultural events, often accompanied by close friends or her sister, Sasha. Malia maintains a balance between enjoying her youth and handling the responsibilities that come with her last name. Malia Obama has lived a life of privilege and luxury, but she has also worked hard to carve out her own identity. With a bright future ahead of her, Malia continues to inspire many with her intelligence, grace, and style. As she steps further into the world of film and television, there's no doubt that she will continue to make her mark, all while enjoying the finer things in life. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of the secretly expensive life of Malia Obama. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more insights into the lives of the world's most fascinating figures. A development that has everyone talking. Diddy's lawyer has offered a rather strange and unexpected explanation for the reports surrounding 1,000 bottles of baby oil supposedly tied to the music mogul. The story caught fire after claiming that these bottles were part of a lavish and somewhat unconventional lifestyle. Many found the situation puzzling, with wild theories circulating across social media. According to Diddy's legal team, the infamous baby oil stockpile is not as scandalous as it seems. His lawyer pointed out that the baby oil was supposedly meant for skincare purposes and to promote self care, suggesting it was simply a misunderstood attempt to maintain youthful, healthy skin. However, this odd explanation has done little to stop the flood of memes and jokes that have taken over the internet, leaving fans wondering what the real story could be. Despite the quirky explanation, many remain skeptical, seeing the baby oil story as another bizarre chapter in Diddy's extravagant public life. Known for his high-profile parties and over-the-top lifestyle, the music icon has always been a magnet for gossip. But this time, even loyal fans are scratching their heads. The lawyer's statement further added that these headlines are just part of a campaign to tarnish Diddy's reputation. Hay emphasized that people often blow things out of proportion when it comes to celebrities, and this case is no different. While it's uncertain how the public will digest this explanation, one thing's for sure. Diddy's lawyer might have a tough job getting people to take this defense seriously. For now, the mystery of the 1,000 bottles of baby oil continues to be one of the strangest stories in the entertainment world, leaving many to wonder what could come next in this ongoing saga. Will Diddy himself step in to clarify, or will the internet continue to run with its wild imagination? Either way, the topic has become another entertaining point in Diddy's legacy, whether it's true or not. Live, back at Harvard. I am outside of my old dorm room, Kirkland House, age 33. Uh, this is actually the first time that, uh, that I've been back here. Priscilla's here with me, too. Uh, this is the first time that we've been back here. Mark Zuckerberg, the co-founder and CEO of Meta, formerly Facebook, has officially crossed the staggering net worth threshold of $200 billion. This monumental achievement places him in the world's most exclusive financial club, a small group of ultra-wealthy individuals who have amassed nearly incomprehensible fortunes. As one of the most influential figures in the tech world, Zuckerberg's financial milestone represents personal success and the continued dominance of Meta and its ecosystem in the digital age. In this documentary, We'll explore how Zuckerberg built his fortune, Meta's role in shaping the world, and what it means to be part of the $200 billion club. The Early Days of Facebook Mark Zuckerberg's journey to becoming one of the world's wealthiest individuals began humbly in a Harvard dorm room. In 2004, alongside his college roommates, Zuckerberg launched Facebook, a social networking platform originally intended to connect university students. What started as a small project quickly snowballed into one of the most significant technological advancements of the 21st century. Facebook's appeal was undeniable, and it expanded rapidly, soon becoming a global platform connecting billions of people across the world. By the time it went public in 2012, Facebook had already solidified itself as a powerhouse in the tech industry, with Zuckerberg at its helm. The IPO made Zuckerberg a billionaire almost overnight, and his fortune has only grown exponentially since then, thanks to Facebook's continuous innovations and strategic acquisitions. Building the Meta Empire While Facebook started as a social media network, 
Zuckerberg had much larger ambitions. His vision for the future extended far beyond mere social networking. Under Zuckerberg's leadership, Facebook, now Meta, has evolved into a tech giant, influencing various sectors including social media, digital advertising, artificial intelligence, and even virtual reality. One of Zuckerberg's most impactful moves was Meta's strategic acquisitions. In 2012, Facebook purchased Instagram for $1 billion, a decision that initially raised eyebrows but has since proven to be one of the smartest tech acquisitions in history. Instagram has become a cultural phenomenon in its own right and one of Meta's most valuable assets. Similarly, the 2014 acquisition of WhatsApp for $19 billion further solidified Meta's dominance in the messaging space, giving the company a massive user base across the globe. But Zuckerberg didn't stop there. In 2021, he announced the rebranding of Facebook to Meta, reflecting his belief that the future lies in the metaverse, a fully immersive virtual reality space where people can interact, work, play, and shop in a digital universe. This pivot to the metaverse is not only a testament to Zuckerberg's forward-thinking approach but also a key driver behind his astronomical wealth, with investors and analysts betting on Meta's potential to dominate the next era of the internet. Joining the $200 billion club The $200 billion milestone places Mark Zuckerberg in the elite ranks of billionaires who have amassed fortunes of unprecedented scale. Until recently, the only individuals who had achieved such immense wealth were Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, and Jeff Bezos, founder of Amazon. These tech titans are shaping the future of industries ranging from space exploration to e-commerce, and now, Zuckerberg has firmly secured his place in this exclusive club. To put $200 billion into perspective, consider that it is more than the GDP of many countries. It is a fortune that allows for unparalleled influence and control, both in the business world and beyond. For Zuckerberg, this level of wealth offers the ability to invest heavily in innovative technologies, fund philanthropic ventures, and steer the direction of Meta toward new horizons. The surge in Zuckerberg's net worth can be attributed to Meta's stock price increase, driven by its continued dominance in digital advertising and the growing interest in the metaverse. Meta has become a cornerstone of the global tech ecosystem, with billions of users relying on its platforms daily. This vast reach, coupled with lucrative advertising revenue, has propelled Zuckerberg's wealth to stratospheric levels. The impact of Zuckerberg's wealth, Zuckerberg's $200 billion fortune is not just a reflection of his success in business. It also speaks to the incredible influence Meta holds over the digital world. As the owner of Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp, Meta controls much of the social media landscape, making Zuckerberg one of the most powerful individuals in the tech industry. His decisions impact how billions of people connect, communicate, and consume information. With such immense wealth comes responsibility, and Zuckerberg has been no stranger to scrutiny. Over the years, Meta has faced numerous challenges, including privacy scandals, accusations of fostering misinformation, and concerns about the platform's role in shaping public discourse. Despite these controversies, Zuckerberg has remained focused on his long-term vision for Meta and its role in the future of the Internet. Zuckerberg's wealth also allows him to make a substantial impact on global issues. Alongside his wife, Priscilla Chan, Zuckerberg has pledged billions of dollars to philanthropy through the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative. Their efforts focus on areas such as education, health, and scientific research, with the goal of advancing human potential and promoting equality. This philanthropic work represents another dimension of Zuckerberg's influence. As he leverages his wealth to tackle some of the world's most pressing problems. The Metaverse. Zuckerberg's Next Frontier. Much of Zuckerberg's recent wealth surge is tied to his ambitious vision for the metaverse. The metaverse represents the next phase of the internet, where virtual and augmented reality merge to create immersive digital experiences. For Zuckerberg, the metaverse is not just a new technological frontier. It's the future of how people will interact online. Meta has already invested heavily in virtual reality through its Oculus division 
and Zuckerberg has made it clear that he sees the metaverse as a long-term project. While the concept is still in its early stages, Zuckerberg believes that the metaverse will revolutionize industries such as gaming, entertainment, and even work. With the potential to generate trillions of dollars in value, the metaverse could be the key to Zuckerberg's continued ascent in the world of tech and finance. Zuckerberg's pivot to the metaverse has been met with both excitement and skepticism. Some see it as the natural evolution of the internet, while others question whether it's too early for such a massive shift. Regardless of the outcome, Zuckerberg's commitment to this vision underscores his willingness to take bold risks and push the boundaries of innovation. Challenges ahead. Despite his enormous success, Zuckerberg's journey has not been without challenges. Meta continues to face regulatory scrutiny, particularly concerning privacy and antitrust issues. Governments around the world are increasingly looking at how big tech companies operate, and Meta has found itself in the crosshairs of numerous investigations. Moreover, the metaverse is still a largely untested concept and its success is far from guaranteed. While Zuckerberg is betting big on this new frontier, there are no assurances that the public will embrace virtual reality to the extent he envisions. If the metaverse fails to gain traction, could pose significant risks to Meta's future profitability and Zuckerberg's wealth. Nevertheless, Zuckerberg has shown time and time again that he is willing to adapt and innovate in the face of challenges. His track record of success speaks for itself and as Meta continues to evolve, it is clear that Zuckerberg's influence on the tech world is far from over. Mark Zuckerberg's $200 billion milestone marks a new chapter in his remarkable career. From the early days of Facebook to his ambitious vision for the metaverse, Zuckerberg has consistently pushed the boundaries of what is possible in the tech world. As one of the wealthiest individuals on the planet, his influence extends far beyond social media shaping the future of technology, business, and even philanthropy. While challenges lie ahead, Zuckerberg's determination and vision will undoubtedly continue to drive Meta forward. As the metaverse becomes a reality and Meta's influence grows, the world will be watching closely to see how Zuckerberg navigates the next phase of his career. One thing is for certain. With a net worth of $200 billion, Zuckerberg is a force to be reckoned with in both the tech industry and beyond. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all the latest developments in the world of tech and business. Mayweather, the undefeated boxing champion, is known for living life to the fullest, and that includes his jaw-dropping collection of luxury vehicles. With a net worth estimated at around $450 million, Mayweather has an affinity for the finer things in life, and his supercar collection is proof. Today, we take a closer look at Mayweather's multi-million dollar car collection, featuring some of the rarest and most expensive cars in the world, and even a unique, flying car, that has left fans astonished. The Ultimate Supercar Collection, a display of wealth and style. Floyd Mayweather's car collection is nothing short of extraordinary. From the moment you enter his massive garage, you're met with a fleet of high-end vehicles that are worth millions. Floyd has a taste for the most luxurious brands and models, ensuring his collection remains unmatched in style and value. Bugatti Galore. At the heart of his collection are his Bugattis, and not just one or two, but multiple models. Mayweather owns several Bugatti Veyrons, including a Veyron Grand Sport Vitesse, valued at around $3 million each. The Veyron is known for its incredible speed, sleek design, and limited production, making it a prized possession for any car enthusiast. These masterpieces reflect Mayweather's penchant for exclusivity and performance. The Koenigsegg CCXR Trevita. Another jewel in Mayweather's collection is the ultra rare Koenigsegg CCXR Trevita, one of only two ever made. This car, often called the Diamond on Wheels, features a diamond weave carbon fiber body and boasts a price tag of around $4.8 million. It's a marvel of engineering and design, capable of reaching speeds over 250 miles per hour. The Trevita symbolizes Mayweather's status as a collector of only the most unique and valuable cars on the planet. Rolls Royce Collection Besides his high performance sports cars, Mayweather's collection includes several Rolls Royces, 
epitomizing luxury and comfort. He has several models, such as the Rolls-Royce Phantom and Wraith, both known for their exquisite craftsmanship, opulent interiors, and timeless elegance. These vehicles are a perfect fit for Mayweather's lavish lifestyle and often accompany him on his daily ventures. The Ferrari fleet. Not one to be outdone, Mayweather also boasts an impressive selection of Ferraris. Among them are the Ferrari 488 GTB, the Ferrari 599 GTB Fiorano, and the Ferrari Enzo. These cars represent the pinnacle of Italian automotive design and performance, each carrying its legacy in the world of motorsports. For Mayweather, these Ferraris symbolize speed, precision, and the art of driving. The world's most unique, flying car, a glimpse into the future. But the crown jewel of Mayweather's collection is something straight out of a science fiction movie, the world's most unique, flying car. Yes, you heard that right, a flying car. Mayweather recently revealed his acquisition of this futuristic vehicle, which has taken his collection to new heights, quite literally. The vehicle, developed by one of the top tech companies in the world, is still in its prototype phase and is valued at over $5 million. This flying car is designed to function both as a traditional car on the road and as an aircraft capable of taking off vertically. With cutting-edge technology, it includes advanced avionics. A lightweight frame made from carbon composite materials, and a compact yet powerful propulsion system. Mayweather's acquisition of this vehicle showcases his interest in pioneering technologies and his desire to always stay ahead of the curve, even in the world of automobiles. Mayweather's love for cars, a lifelong passion. Mayweather's love for cars is well documented. From his early days as a young boxer earning his first big payday, he has always shown a passion for automobiles. Over the years, this passion has grown into a collection that spans several luxury brands, styles, and eras. For Mayweather, cars are more than just a mode of transportation. They are a statement, a lifestyle, and an expression of his success. Garage Goals More than just a collection, Mayweather's cars are housed in a garage that's almost as impressive as the vehicles themselves. The expansive, state-of-the-art facility is designed to accommodate his vast collection complete with climate control, security systems, and a staff dedicated to maintaining the pristine condition of each car. The garage also features a private showroom where Mayweather can showcase his most prized vehicles, and it even includes a lounge area for him to relax and entertain guests. Luxury Beyond the Wheels The Mayweather Legacy Mayweather's supercar collection is not just a show of wealth, it reflects his journey from the streets of Grand Rapids, Michigan, to becoming a global icon. His cars symbolize his triumphs both inside and outside the ring, and they serve as a constant reminder of his status as one of the greatest and wealthiest athletes of all time. With his continued interest in expanding his collection and even investing in futuristic vehicles like the flying car, it's clear that Floyd Mayweather's love for cars is as enduring as his legacy in boxing. He's not just building a collection, he's crafting a legacy that combines his passion for speed, luxury, and innovation. The Ultimate Car Enthusiast Floyd Mayweather's supercar collection is a testament to his success, ambition, and love for all things fast and luxurious. From Bugattis and Ferraris to Rolls Royces and a one-of-a-kind flying car his garage is filled with vehicles that are as unique and extraordinary as he is, as Mayweather continues to surprise us with his bold choices and relentless pursuit of excellence. His collection stands as a symbol of his drive, determination, and the ultimate quest for perfection both on the road and in life. Welcome to World Famous Gallery. Today, we're diving into the life of Vanessa Bryant, her new husband, net worth, height, age, and boyfriend rumors in 2024. Vanessa Bryant is an American philanthropist who is known as the widow of NBA player Kobe Bryant. 
Vanessa Bryant has a net worth of $600 million. In 2007, the couple founded their foundation to provide scholarships to minority college students around the globe. Among her other endeavors, Bryant leads the Mamba and Mambasita Sports Foundation and serves as the president and CEO of Granity Studios. Kobe and Vanessa met while she was working as a background dancer for a music video. She was 17 years old at the time. Kobe, who was 21 at the time, was at the studio to work on his debut musical album. They were engaged within six months of that first meeting. Lane was still a senior in high school when they married. Vanessa Bryant, born on May 5, 1982, is the widow of NBA legend Kobe Bryant. After the tragic loss of Kobe and their daughter Gianna in 2020, Vanessa has shown remarkable strength and resilience, becoming an inspiration to many. As of 2024, Vanessa is 42 years old and stands at 5 feet 5 inches tall. She continues to focus on raising her three daughters, Natalia, Bianca, and Capri, honoring Kobe's legacy through various charitable endeavors. She actively manages the Mamba and Mambasita Sports Foundation, which aims to create a positive impact in underserved communities through sports. Rumors about Vanessa's dating life have circulated, but as of now, she has not confirmed any new relationship publicly. While the media speculates about potential boyfriends, Vanessa has remained focused on her family and philanthropic efforts. In 2024, there have been whispers about Vanessa possibly having a new husband or boyfriend, but these are unverified and should be taken with caution. Vanessa values her privacy, especially after the immense public scrutiny she has faced over the years. Vanessa resides in a magnificent mansion in Newport Coast, California. This Mediterranean-style estate spans over 14,000 square feet and features an outdoor pool, a spacious home theater, a stunning wine cellar, and panoramic ocean views. In addition to her primary residence, Vanessa also owns a luxurious vacation home in Laguna Beach. This beachfront property offers a serene escape with private beach access, modern amenities, and expansive outdoor living spaces perfect for family gatherings. Vanessa's property portfolio doesn't end there. She also owns a beautiful ranch-style property that provides a perfect retreat for quiet weekends away from the hustle and bustle of city life. Now, let's shift gears and talk about Vanessa Bryant's enviable collection of luxury cars. One of the crown jewels in her collection is a Rolls-Royce Cullinan, a top-of-the-line SUV known for its opulence and performance. This vehicle combines luxury with practicality, making it perfect for both daily drives and special occasions. Vanessa also enjoys the thrill of high-performance sports cars. Her collection includes a Lamborghini Aventador, which boasts a powerful V12 engine and striking design, making it a true head-turner on the road. Additionally, Vanessa has a taste for classic luxury. She owns a Bentley Continental GTA timeless piece of automotive craftsmanship that offers a perfect blend of elegance and speed. Of course, Vanessa's collection wouldn't be complete without a family-friendly ride. She owns a fully loaded Cadillac Escalade, which provides ample space and comfort for her and her daughters during their outings. Vanessa Bryant's taste for luxury is evident in both her stunning homes and her impressive car collection. She continues to live a life of elegance and comfort, while also dedicating her time to her family and charitable endeavors. Subscribe, like, and follow for more celebrity updates. Mike Tyson is a retired American boxer who has a net worth of $10 million. At his all-time peak, Mike Tyson's net worth was $300 million. As we detail in the next two sections below, during his career, Mike Tyson earned hundreds of millions of dollars from purses and endorsements. Mike Tyson was born Michael Gerard Tyson on June 30, 1966, in Brooklyn, New York. Tyson grew up in a rough neighborhood, and his stepfather was involved in crime and gambling. When Tyson was 10, he and his mother moved because of financial issues. By the age of 13, Tyson had been arrested for 38 crimes, often fighting bigger youths who made fun of his voice. Tyson speaks with a lisp. During school, Tyson's fighting ability was discovered by a juvenile detention instructor and a former boxer. 
After working with a few trainers, he linked up with Cus D'Amato, a trainer who would have an immense influence on the future boxing champ. When Tyson's mother passed away when he was 16, D'Amato became his legal guardian. Tyson also worked with Kevin Rooney from a young age. Tyson's first experiences with professional boxing were in the Junior Olympics, where he won gold medals in 1981 and 1982. He also fought in the 1984 Summer Olympics but lost against Henry Tillman in two bouts. Tyson's first professional fight came at age 18, and he beat Hector Mercedes with a first-round TKO. This would start a growing trend for Tyson, who frequently ended wars in the first round. Tyson continued to fight opponents who were more challenging than those he had faced previously, with many predicting an early rise to stardom. Cus D'Amato died in 1985, and Tyson lost an important father figure early in his career. Many later stated that this would prove to have a destabilizing effect on Tyson's later life. Tyson truly arrived on the world stage with a nationally televised fight against Jesse Ferguson after Tyson caught Ferguson with an uppercut that broke his nose the result of the fight was clearly inevitable Tyson won after Ferguson was disqualified for illegally clinching another televised event came when Tyson took on Marvis Frazier a former world title challenger Tyson won in just 30 seconds with a knockout in 1986 Tyson beat Trevor Burbick in the second round too become the undisputed heavyweight world champion that same year he took on Pinklon Thomas in a 12-round battle to win the IBF title this made Tyson the first heavyweight to ever hold all three major belts at the same time in 1988 Tyson beat Larry Holmes a former champion and knocked him out in the fourth round Tony Tubbs suffered a similar fate that year as he suffered a TKO in the second round Tyson rounded out the year with a victory against Michael Spinks although many pundits predicted a tough fight for Tyson because of Spinks technical ability ability Tyson knocked him out in just 90 seconds from that point onward Tyson's career seemed to go downhill after a number of personal problems emerged Tyson decided to fire Kevin Rooney the man credited with building Tyson into a top fighter after D'Amato's death although Tyson continued to win fights in 1989 his career would suffer a major blow when he lost to Buster Douglas in 1990 having lost his mother to a stroke 23 days before the fight Douglas fought with passion and commitment in the 10th round Douglas unleashed a combination that sent Tyson to the canvas for the first time in his career he was counted out by the referee in one of the most shocking boxing style. Cus D'Amato taught Mike Tyson the pique boo style of defensive boxing, which involved a high guard and rapid head movements. This is also an aggressive style of counter-punching, which depends on charging the opponent, making him swing, and then taking advantage of openings. Tyson was known for his extreme punching power, as well as his ability to bob and weave. A considerable amount of Tyson's punching power came from his legs, and he was known for landing a right hook and then an uppercut to finish fights. Mike has been married three times and has seven children one of whom has died he includes his second wife's oldest daughter in addition to his six biological children he is a Muslim and practices sobriety Tyson announced the creation of Mike Tyson's Legends Only League in July of 2020 he formed it in partnership with Sophie Watts and her company Eros Innovations to provide retired professional athletes the opportunity to compete in their sport the first event produced under Legends Only League came in November of 2020 with the Tyson Roy Jones Jr. fight at the Staples Center it was the highest selling PPV event of 2020 and ranks in the top 10 all time for PPV purchased events. In August of 2022, Mike Tyson made a cameo appearance in the Telugu Hindi movie, Liger. In April of 2022, Tyson made the news when he repeatedly punched a male passenger aboard a JetBlue flight from San Francisco to Florida who was harassing and throwing water at him. He did not face criminal charges. In 2023, an unnamed woman filed a $5 million lawsuit against Tyson, accusing him of raping her in the early 1990s after she met him at a nightclub in Albany, New York. Tyson truly arrived on the world stage with a nationally televised fight against Jesse Ferguson. After Tyson caught Ferguson with an uppercut that broke his nose, the result of the fight was clearly inevitable. Tyson won after Ferguson was disqualified for illegally clinching. 
He also spent very lavishly and was bilked out of a fortune by former managers promoters Mike declared bankruptcy in 2003 according to the bankruptcy filing he was reportedly 23 million in debt at that point even as recently as 2010 Mike was apparently experiencing extreme financial problems in a 2010 appearance on The View Mike revealed I am totally destitute and broke but I have an awesome life I have an awesome wife who cares about me. I'm totally broke. I had a lot of fun. It, going broke, just happened. I'm very grateful. I don't deserve to have the wife that I have. I don't deserve the kids that I have, but I do, and I'm very grateful. As we detail in the article below, Mike was able to make a financial comeback thanks to lucrative appearance fees, movie parts, exhibition matches, and investments in the cannabis industry. Mike Tyson was the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world in the late 1980s. At his peak, Mike was one of the most famous and highest paid athletes in the world. He was the youngest champion in history at age 20. ESPN called him the hardest hitter in heavyweight history, and Sky Sports dubbed him the most ferocious fighter to step into a professional ring. Tyson continues to be a relevant pop culture in and out of the ring. Mike has appeared as himself in dozens of movies and television shows over the years, perhaps most memorably in The Hangover and The Hangover 2. He also continues to participate in exhibition fights. On March 7, 2024, it was announced that Mike would fight Jake Paul in July 2024. The bout will be streamed live on Netflix. Mike lived a famously lavish lifestyle when money was rolling in. He wasted millions on mansions, cars, jewelry, extravagant gifts for strangers, and even a collection of Bengal tigers. His tigers cost $70,000 a pop and were housed in a custom-built habitat in his backyard. Mike kept an animal trainer on staff at a cost of $125,000 per year. Mike lavished money on his entourage as well. As just one example, he kept a person on staff whose sole purpose was to wear army fatigues and shout, guerrilla warfare, at press conferences. For his services, this person was paid $300,000 per year. Mike was imprisoned between 1991 and 1995. In the three years immediately following his release, Mike spent the following amounts. 4-5 million on cars and motorbikes 19 vehicles he bought for friends 400,000 on pigeons and a variety of big cats such as Siberian tigers 300,000 on lawn care and garden maintenance alone 240,000 per month for walking around money that he spent in daily life flexing 230,000 on cell phones pagers and phone bills 125,000 per year for an animal trainer to take care of the big cats 100,000 per month on jewelry and clothes he also bought several homes his 21 room Connecticut mansion would. Featured a nightclub and casino. Mike also bought houses in Las Vegas, Ohio, and Maryland. His Ohio mansion featured gold-plated furnishings, pools, and a basketball court. His $4 million Las Vegas property featured an 11,000-square-foot mansion that he proceeded to remodel from scratch. Mike has owned well over 100 cars during his lifetime. Some were extremely valuable and rare. He owned a Bentley that was one of 73 total produced and cost $500,000. After totaling a Range Rover in 1995, he told the repair shop to keep it. He would frequently lend cars to friends and acquaintances, then forget about them. He bought 20 cars at one Las Vegas dealership alone. That dealership, Jim Chasen Motors, is where Mike spent $1.5 million in a few minutes one day, buying five Bentley Azures. The dealership only had two in stock and had to order the remaining three fast-tracked from Rolls-Royce. One of the most outlandish purchases Tyson ever made was a $2 million golden bathtub for his first wife, actress Robin Givens. According to legend, he would periodically buy strangers lavish gifts and dollars watches. In 1996 Mike paid $2.8 million for a 51,000-square-foot mansion set on 17 acres in Farmington, Connecticut located at 50 Poplar Hill Drive The mansion was built in 1985 by a realtor who several years later pleaded guilty to fraud and was sentenced to nine years in prison in 1992 The home foreclosed and was then bought by a bank at auction for $3.5 million The bank took a loss in 1993 when it sold the mansion in 1993 That buyer sold the home to Mike in 1993 
1996 for 28 million Mike spent millions upgrading the property he added a nightclub that could fit 1,000 people an indoor gym an indoor shooting range over 100 phone extensions and an NBA regulation size basketball court in 2003 amid a divorce and a bankruptcy filing the mansion was awarded to his ex-wife Monica Turner as part of their settlement Turner sold the home to rapper 50 Cent in 2003 for 4 1 million 50 Cent then spent 6 million on renovations adding a grotto infinity pool movie theater and helicopter pad 50 cent listed the home in 2007 for 18.5 million he lowered the asking price several times over the next decade 50 cent filed for bankruptcy in july 2015 at the time he was spending 70,000 per month on utilities and maintenance for the property after several at the peak of his wealth and power mike splurged on a car collection that at one point featured over 100 cars his collection included a $500,000 limited edition Bentley Continental SC. Only 73 of these cars were ever made. He also owned a number of Lamborghinis, Ferraris, a Mercedes-Benz 500, a Range Rover, and a 1995 Rolls-Royce which he later totaled in an accident. He left that Rolls-Royce at an auto repair garage and told them to keep it. One of the most important cars in his collection was a 1996 Ferrari F50. Ferrari only produced 349 F50s and only sent 55 to the United States. Mike Tyson's Ferrari F50 is chassis number 104,220. Production on this model was completed on February 13, 1996. In 2001, two years before he declared bankruptcy with $23 million worth of debt, Mike sold his F50 to a tech entrepreneur named named Kevin Marcus. Marcus was an early employee of a pre-Google search engine called Infospace. The F-50 traded hands twice more before going up for auction in August 2022. It sold at that auction for $4.625 million. Here is a photo of Mike Tyson's former Ferrari F-50.